Hello everybody, I am waiting for the kiddo um, for practice to be over, so I thought I would just hop in and do some free coaching and supervision. My favorite thing to do ever, I, I love it. And if you don't know me and if you're new to the group, welcome, welcome, welcome. This group is kind of a mishmash of all the things that I feel like keep most dietitians and nutritionists and non-diet professionals kind of stuck. Hey Jenny which is going kind of deeper and unpacking um, non-diet counseling skills and having confidence in offering what we do in the world. And I became kind of a business expert only by accident, only by years and years of doing a lot wrong and investing in money in the wrong things. And so my hope is to help you not fall into some of those holes. That's essentially what this group is about. I just want to offer back um, support for those of you who or um, getting new on this journey, or maybe you've been at it a while and just trying to do some more advanced skills as well as have support, as well as just have confidence. You know, none of us learn how to be business people, but frankly, you have to be if you want to provide high quality care to um, clients in our community, or even if you work in a treatment center or part of things that you have to learn how to present how we help people in a way that People feel like, oh my gosh, like that gives me hope. Yes, like I want to, I want to invest my time. I want to invest, invest my resources, even if they're not directly paying you. It matters to the longevity and the quality of care that you can provide. So, all that intro, getting started. I kind of did that intro for the benefit of people who don't watch a lot of these videos or who are new to the group. So, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Like I said, Jenny, thank you for coming live. I love seeing your face here. Please ask questions. So if you have any questions about any client cases and we will kind of keep it kind of vagary because, you know, um, again, these don't get shared widely. Um, I'm very, I do a lot of screening with this group, but I think it's still it's really important to keep people's stuff anonymous as possible. Um, hi Mel, good to come. I hope you go back and watch my little intro. I know we don't know each other well yet. So um, after this video is over, go back to the beginning to describe the point of this group. Hi, Eugenia. I know we haven't talked in a while. I'm glad you're here. So if anybody has any supervision questions, any questions about clients, um, I have about 10, 15 minutes. So I thought I'd pop in and offer some help. I'm also going to share with you what I'm working on right now. So you know what to expect. So again, it's about, it's, I have to buzz off at 3.30. So if you have some questions, I'll be happy to ask. So while you're typing them in, if you have them, I want to share with you what I'm working on. So I'm in module four of my advanced somatic counseling skills, like trauma integrated informed nutrition counseling course. Um, it's a mouthful, but that's what it's about. And I finished up a work, got a worksheet finished up with the help of my awesome VA, um, cause I can't make things that pretty. And working on something called, um, basically educating dietitians and nutritionists and non-diet professionals on something called the action cycle. So. I learned about the action cycle, I don't know, probably three, four years ago. Not that long, it, it's not been that long. I didn't really know how to use it though. I kind of put it in the back of my memory. And then when I work with, um, over the last two years, I've been working with Paula Scanaloni and Rachel Lewis, and they're part of the Embodied Recovery Institute. If you want to work with people from a bottom-up approach and do trauma-informed work, um, find a way to get there to North Carolina and go work with them, they're great. Even if you just do level one, I encourage you to do all the levels. But anyway, so, you know, they kind of have a framework and one of the frameworks in their training, they use the action cycle. And the action cycle is just the way in which people learn how to sequence their movement into action to get stuff done in the world, okay? And we learn this in babyhood, like how to sit up and sit and to reach for the food we want and to crawl. So the originator of this work was Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen. She has a great website. I think that she's still doing trainings. I'm pretty sure she's in her 70s at least. Her work is really fascinating. And you know what Paula and Rachel have been able to do is take the, her framework and overlay it on the and on a, as a recovery model of how we are successful or not with our normative eating efforts it has a lot to do with how much developmentally we're able to sequence, sequence through, um, like being, like knowing ourselves different from the environment and, and just having clarity about that. So it, it, 
you might seem like, well, what are you talking about? But it really matters in terms of like people having accurate signals of hunger and fullness, being able to cook and shop, take in the food they want to and ingest it and keep it and not purge it over exercise it off and to be able to rest and digest. And so they've overlaid Bonnie Brain Bridges Cohen movement cycle with like an action cycle with food and eating disorder behaviors or being able to eat normatively. And so, you know, Rachel and Paula teach that framework. And so what I'm doing is kind of taking it another step further and helping us as nutrition professionals really get honed in on not so much the emotional behavioral things that people are doing like perfectionism, which would be like a, a thwarted yield response, which is a rest and digest response. But um, clarity would be, you know, I know who I, you know, for, from Rachel and Paula's perspective is like what that looks like behaviorally with eating disorders would be like, I know how I feel and like I can basically feel stuff and know what that is. A lot of our clients have very, they're very numbed out, right? They don't really know what they feel. They're really either it's always on or off. There's no like nuance. There's no anything. And from a dietitian and nutrition professional perspective is like, if you have, let's say clarity and you're in your body and you're calm and alert and you're present and there's no hyper arousal from the sympathetic system, there's no hypo arousal going on from the dorsal vagal part of our nervous system, then, and we're not like kind of numbed and shut down, our signals of hunger and fullness can be really right on, like major clarity. And so basically I'm going through all the action cycle and giving very specific examples of when things are thwarted and when things are not, as well as um, what to do about it when people are stuck. And a lot of this work is very delicate and very nuanced because simply sitting with people sometimes talking about food can make them just so, you know, kind of check out. And you do have to have a lot of skill and a lot of gentleness and, and be prepared to go slow. That's just how it is. So that's what I'm working on this week um, with people in that training. And I will be running that training again in September, um, like late, late August, early September this year. So if you missed it this time, no worries. I do plan on running it at least one to two times a year. It's just um, what I love so much about how, you know, really being able to use a body somatic up based approach because we're all here. We've all got training and like motivational interviewing and probably some CBT and ACT and all that jazz. Um, but for people who have got a lot of developmental trauma, for people who just have a hard time knowing and ex like being able to even put language to how come they feel and do what they do with food, because sometimes they just can't articulate it. This work is so helpful because we got to get out of the head as much as our CBT helps people like reframe like good food, bad food and all that kind of stuff, that's all very valuable stuff we should be doing as nutrition professionals. But it has a limitation, just like, you know, not every model is gonna fit every circumstance. And so when we can bring not only our awesome like nutrition education skills and our relational skills and bring a more bottom up approach to working with how the nervous system works, whether when it's calm and when it's under threat, when you can work with those, those um, nervous system circumstances, then you can know more clearly what needs to be brought into the system or what needs to be taken out for normative eating to happen and for all this awesome stuff we see out there. Um, the point of why I do all this works, just so you all know, and you might know or you might not already, is that you know I've been doing eating sort of work for since 2006 and I've had my own recovery and you know, unless I felt safe, and unless I know my clients feel safe, I can talk all day long about how intuitive eating is amazing, it's a miracle, and it provides so much freedom. And they can even know that, but the thing is, most of our clients have a lot of head information. We are just up plumb to the gills with like information now, like in books about non-diet um, living. But in action, a lot of people have some thwarted, developmental responses that they don't even understand why they do what they do and this is how we can help them so um, Mel I want to answer your question yep I, I get that that sounds useful it, I, I am noticing in this sorry about that that there are some people that I would say like a more like intuitive eating coaching clients not full-on diagnosable eating disorders that it used to take me 
six months to a year to really help them get to the place. And I've had some people get done in like three, four months. So, you know, we're talking like cutting a third of their time with me off. And I mean, these, this is like a slow, a sm obviously a small sample size is just me observing outcomes and, inter you know, in interventions and outcomes, but I'm noticing that people are, are, um, are getting better faster using this work. So just putting it out there to you that learning how to work with something besides changing somebody's mind is super powerful. So I've got a few more minutes. Does any, I have, uh, you saw my call come in. I got to answer that call in a second, but, um, does anybody have any questions? I would love to get to know you. So I don't know you very well, Mel. I would love to hear about the kind of people you serve, you want to help more of, whether your questions are more body image based and your point for being here, um, more business skill stuff too, um, especially like authentic, heart-based, non-icky marketing, which is what I do um, and I help people do and help them get clarity. But just in the counseling skills, that's kind of my two specialties and I pretty much don't mess around with any, everything, anything else, because those aren't my, um, you know, this is my natural talents and that I spent so many years working on. So um, I don't try to make it overcomplicated here. It's like counseling skills, body image, trauma support for our clients, um, the nuances of, of teaching and tuned eating in a way that's very um, creative to each client and, you know, getting your business off the ground and then up leveling when it's time. That's what I help people do. So. If Mel, if those things feel like, ooh, I'm in the right place, let me know. Awesome. Give me a, a shout out there. And Eugenia, the same thing. I want to hear about how you're doing um, because I, I think people um, sometimes don't always feel like nobody wants to feel like they don't know something, but I'm very transparent. Like, if I don't know something, I'll tell you because I just haven't studied it. It hasn't been my interest, but I know somebody who is like the bee's knees at that. And I will tell you, and please go work with them. You know, I'm not a great copywriter but I'm really good at video and um, relationship building. And I'm better at copy this year than I was two years ago. And so I'm able to look at people's copy now and say like, what works, what doesn't? Am I the best at writing somebody else's copy? Not yet, but I might be in a couple years. Yes, I would love Mel. I, was, I, haven't, I hadn't done a welcome email to, or a, a post for you and I think somebody else can join today, but um, that will be coming shortly. But yeah, if you get ahead of the stick on that for me, I would love to know you and what's going on for you. So I've got one more minute. Does anybody want to answer a question? If not, I'm going to hop off and toot along to get to kiddo. But I'm so glad you all were here. Please, anytime. Um, let's let's go through some stuff, you know. And, and Mel, if you want to ask that, re copy and paste that question you had in the Intuitive Eating Support Group, please put that here and let's get some feedback from uh, maybe myself and the lovely folks here. And we'd be happy to help you. So, okie doke. I think time's up. But thank you all so much for being here. I so appreciate you and your wisdom. Bring your collective wisdom to this table because I don't know everything. Um, you know, I just hope to provide, you know, bring my frameworks and wisdom to what you're already doing to make it fuller and richer. So, all right. Well, thank you all so much. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now. Thanks, Jenny.